Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Can It Take a K26, the show where we take a variety of nerf blasters and see if it can be upgraded with a K26 spring. I am your host, Captain Xavier, and today we're going to be covering a few of the dart tag line blasters that I haven't done yet, starting with the Speed Load 6. The Speed Load 6 was originally released in 2011 as part of the dart tag line. It was part of the new line that had the yellow shells which I actually kind of like the look of. They definitely paint up really, really nicely. Um, it is top prime, reverse plunger, which doesn't bode well, but we'll see what happens. And it featured the internal magazine that can be loaded from the top, which I think is a magnificent concept for Nerf because it allows you to easily top off your magazine as you're going, and it has an indicator to let you know how many rounds you have in there. Just really neat features. It suffers from being overly complicated because it has to feed in from the side which involves a complicated mechanism it's also as i said reverse plunger which does not bode well for it i know people have tried to make them um direct plunger and i'm sure people have there's probably even were kits out there once upon a time but we're gonna see what we can do with it and see what happens you never know the plunger might actually fit k26 so let's get this thing open and take a look So one nice feature is that the uh, magazine cover kind of comes off, uh, which makes it, I've, I've seen it done, I believe, uh, it's not that difficult to modify it to take a standard magazine. Um, either, you know, putting an 18 on there. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone make it take a removable magazine. I'm sure it can be done and probably has been done, but I know you could integrate in a longer straight magazine thus allowing you to use regular streamlined darts. The, one of the other downsides of this design is it's of course designed to take the uh, velcro tipped tagger darts, which like the Whistler darts have a larger head on them and so it doesn't take streamlines very well. You can put streamlines in it, I've heard that it works, but it just it doesn't work as well and leads to slightly more jams. So um, we are going to see what can be done. I'm not gonna lie, the idea of getting this thing back together is uh, daunting. Okay, so, taking a look. Yes, it is reverse plunger and there is no way that K26 is gonna fit around that, cause it's tiny. But I'm curious if I have anything that might. So I have found a spring that actually fits and I think this is an exploder spring. It's unfortunately been cut so it's too short, but I have a bin full. So I'm gonna go disassemble one because that just needs to happen. So stay tuned. All right, so I was not able to find any more of that same spring. Uh, I disassembled all of the exploders I have and unfortunately the springs that they have, while big, long, and incredibly powerful, are the wrong size. So. We're going to go ahead and put it back together. I just put the spring that I was able to find that looked to be the right size and just doubled it up. And we're going to see if that will suffice. Okay, well that is a no to K26, but the spring that I thought was going to be too short has proved to actually be long enough and does appear to give it a slightly heavier draw. I don't know what the uh, chrono was before, so I couldn't tell you what the chrono is now. But it shoots, so that's something for me. All right then, so on to the next contestant. Yay. All right, our next contestant is the Quick 16, the big brother of the Speed Load 6. Uh, this one was also released in 2011 as part of the Dart Tag line. Also features the magazine, built-in magazine well that can be fed from the top. It also has an indicator to tell you how full it is, which is lovely, but it is also reverse plunger, so odds are not in its favor. But let's pop it open and take a look at the inside anyway. All right, so we're in, and, uh... It's pretty much identical to the uh, Speedload 6, except that it has a larger capacity and is uh, front-primed, but uh, looks like it takes 
pretty much the same spring, except it's slightly shorter. So yeah, reverse plunger won't take K26 and I don't have any more spring that will go in there. So uh, I am gonna try to find some though because I've got enough reverse plunger blasters around here that I'd love to get modified that I'd like to try to find a source for the, the larger springs. Uh, Cause like the deploy and various other blasters that were Yes, I know I could order. <laughs> yes, I'm aware I could order them from Orange Mod Works or somewhere else, but I would like to find a cheaper source. Um, kind of like the source I have for K26. Uh, I'm sure I could probably find. I just need to figure out the dimensions and all of the, all of that. But uh, yeah, spring too big, no K26. Moving on. Let's put it back together. Hopefully, hopefully I can figure out how to put it back together. All right, so for those of you who've ever tried to take one of these apart, I've heard that it's a pain in the butt, and it is until you figure out the trick, which is that this plate here that slides back and forth when you prime it, when you take the gun apart, that has to be taken off, and when you go to put the gun back together, it needs to be on the left side of the gun, not on the right side of the gun, and then when you push the sides together, there's a metal pin that locks into this piece from the other side. And that's the only part that's actually tricky. All right, well, that is of course a no because it's reverse plunger and you'd need a much larger spring and I would love to find some. But uh, until then, this is just gonna go back on the shelf. If I ever were gonna modify one of these, I would either wanna make a direct plunger like walcom has been trying to do, or at least find a heavy enough spring to make the reverse plunger system work better and replace the magazine with a straight magazine. So there you have it. On to the next contestant. Our final contestant is the Snapfire 8. Snapfire 8 was released in 2012 as part of the Dart Tag line and was, I believe, the first blaster to have the double action trigger. Um, it also has a dial on the bottom that allows you to increase the power of the blaster, but it makes the trigger pull harder. If you go all the way to the other way, it makes it much easier to pull the trigger so you can fire it much faster, but you reduce power. It's an eight-shot revolver and is really quite nifty. But what we want to know is, can it take a K26? Let's find out. Okay, well we are in, and as you can see, the Snapfire 8 uses a tension spring, or an extension spring, depending on which verbiage you prefer. So it's not a compression spring at all. So um, yeah, I don't think this is gonna fit. Yeah, so what I have heard is this one is unfortunately also very resistant to modification. Um, the mechanism that tightens it is right back here. I have heard that these things do wear out and that's not surprising because the double action mechanism is complicated and involves a lot of stress on a lot of parts and a lot of leverage and so um, I would love to see metal parts for this made at some point to see if you could make it a little more powerful. Okay, well that is unfortunately another no because this uses a tension spring rather than a, uh, a compression spring. So let's recap! All right, for those of you keeping score at home or who just skipped to the end to see the results, that was a no for the Speed Load 6, that was a no for the Quick 16, and that was a no for the Snapfire 8. Tragically, none of these can take a K26. These two are reverse plunger, and this one uses a tension spring rather than a compression spring, so... No's all around. These ones could be upgraded if you could find springs that were the right size. K26 simply isn't. Um, I would also love to put straight magazines on them so they could take streamlines better. This one, uh, you really can't do much with it. If you increase the spring, the internals break. The internals will eventually break on their own. There you have it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions for what you'd like to see in future episodes, put them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.